Sergey Kovalev versus Cedric Agnew. I just seen this fight last night. It's too late in here in Canada, so I didn't make a video. But I may I make one right now. But anyway, um, what did I think? I think uh, Kovalev took longer than I expected, but the there was only one factor that I took that why he took so long. There was only one thing that made him take so long to knock him out, to knock out Agnew. Because Agnew was doing the Joshua Claudi defense. He was like this the whole fight, hands up so high in like a shell. Like Joshua Claudi. Like when Manny Pacquiao faced Joshua Claudi, Manny Pacquiao would have knocked out Joshua Claudi if he did not hold his hands up like that and did not engage with any offense really for the whole fight like sure Agnew did show some offense but very short short durations of it he would kind of counter come out of the shell really quickly and do a bunch of counters but and then go back to the shell but wasn't enough obviously it was a matter of time before Kovalev just broke him down like those punches I don't care how good your guard is, it's going to go through it with Kovalev's power. So, anyway, uh, Sergei Kovalev gets the job done. If uh, Agnew didn't have focus on defense that much and try to actually use his offense more, he, he would have got knocked out in less than four rounds. Um, what was it? The second round, he got dropped from a, like a, a left hand in the southpaw position, I think it was. And it was... I think when he threw the left hand, he was in southpaw, but he's normally orthodox, so left hand dropped him, got up, he looked kind of shaken, but uh, continued, and then I thought it might have went, could have went to 12 rounds, but it was just a matter of time, Kovalev was just breaking him down, and then finally a body shot, a left hand jab body shot, he faked to the, to the head and went down to the body, Drop Agnew. He he had enough, and uh, yeah, he he was upset. I think he was he yeah he was he was upset anyway. But so Sergey Kovalev gets the job done in eight rounds. I'm pretty sure, and uh, it was uh, it was a good fight. Kovalev has tremendous power. Even just watching him, you can tell he throws every punch with power. He doesn't throw a shot any soft shots to set up punches he just throws all power so anyway um impressive performance by Kovalev I don't think anyone can beat him at light heavyweight and uh I think uh Adonis Stevenson that's a great challenge for him probably best money fight right now but Stevenson goes to Golden Boy Promotions now so that's, I don't know why he would do that when he knows he could have got the Kovalev fight. He switches promoters. That's just, that doesn't, that's not right. I kind of lose respect when he did that, but that's his decision. Maybe the money was more over there, so you can't blame him, I guess. I don't know. Kind of pisses off fans, though, how he could have fought, fought Kovalev. They were both on HBO, and they couldn't, and then he moved, so... Anyway, Kovalev at the end of the fight, uh, Max Kellerman asked him about fighting uh, Stevenson. And uh, Kovalev just like, uh, Stevenson is he's a piece of shit. And he's like, excuse my English. So he called Adonis Stevenson a piece of shit. And um, I didn't expect that, but... Anyway, Kovalev will fight anyone, anywhere, and he'll win. I know that. Light, he's the best light heavyweight in the world right now. I don't see anyone beating him. Adon Stevenson wouldn't beat him. Hopkins won't beat him. No way. And uh, it's a joke that Hopkins says it would be easy fight. No way. Um, Andre Ward maybe moves up. That would be a tough fight for Andre Ward even though. So I don't see anyone in light heavyweight beating Kovalev right now. Uh, let me know what you think about the fight in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.